May the 24, 2023. You're looking at national satellite images, and it, you're getting part of Canada there, and you've got a pretty good uh, line of storms that comes out of the Texas Panhandle and moves northwest all the way to Canada. And we may develop something out of the Texas Panhandle. That's some of the strongest storms. But off the coast of Florida to the right, we're getting a system that's starting to stall. Now, it may come ashore, South Carolina, North Carolina. We're not really sure yet, depending on when it changes. And it, in the top right, going offshore here, is a system that I mentioned in a video a couple videos ago. Talk about, And I talked about it was going to move north and northeast off sure wasn't going to affect us but notice florida guys you here you've been getting storms for the last several weeks moving out of the gulf and across the florida peninsula you even had them this morning but now things are starting to stall right along this area and there's a system here that's developing again we're going to be in seven days six days into the official start of the 2023 hurricane season this may become a tropical depression. They're not sure yet. They're giving it a 10% chance of some type of development. So what you're going to have is wind, heavy rain, uh, rip currents, uh, high waves along the beaches, and we're going into a holiday weekend. So by this weekend, they're talking about this thing could come ashore, and I'm hoping that somebody will listen to this video tonight or tomorrow and change their vacation plans because every year when we start this we start seeing people and kids getting um, pulled out to sea by these rip currents off the beach and them not making it in or someone trying to save them not making it in so think about if you're going to the beach this weekend and I know a lot of people are even in Florida Mississippi Alabama all over Texas you're going to the beaches Think about this weather on the uh, East Coast. Do not let uh, one of your family members or kids get into the front page uh, in a drowning situation. Let's take a look at the National Hurricane Center. Now, this is the seven-day graphical tropical weather outlook from the National Hurricane Center in Miami. Notice the change. We've always had the five-day or two-day tropical weather outlook so they changed this now that may be because of advanced technology where they can look further into the future and uh, what we're dealing with here is a non-tropical area of low pressure it is expected let me pull this down a little better there we go non-tropical area of low pressure is expected to form along a frontal boundary offshore the southeastern u.s coast during the next day or two the system appears unlikely to become a subtropical or tropical cyclone since it is forecast to remain frontal while moving generally northward and inland over the Carolinas this weekend. Regardless, the system is likely to produce gusty winds and dangerous surf, rip current conditions along portions of the southeastern U.S. A co uh, coast late this week and into the weekend. That's what I'm saying. This is a big weekend. Heavy rainfall is expected in portions of the Carolinas, and hazardous marine conditions are expected over the coastal and offshore waters where gale watches and warnings are in effect. For more information, see products from your local National Weather Service office and high sea forecasts issued by the National Weather Service. Again, the 10% chance, this is 8 p.m. Uh, Eastern, it's been up uh, now uh, over an hour. So I, all I want to do is say we're beginning, we're getting the hurricane system, uh, season. The tropics are now starting to move from the right to the left or from the east to the west. This is the beginning of it. And so just be careful this weekend. Uh, everyone loves the beach. Everyone loves the ocean. But if you're thinking about doing a uh, small fishing charter in that area, think twice. Or you're thinking about doing a lot of swimming especially if you're going to have your kids think twice do something even if you go to the hotel on the beach remember what you're dealing with here so uh, i want to point that out also in the last few videos we've talked about the debt ceiling 
USGS is approaching it probably in about a week on around July the or June the first, excuse me. Now this came out at 7:23 p.m. tonight, Eastern Time, and it's saying that Fitch, which is one of the top four credit rating agencies, puts the U.S. AAA rating on the negative watch, citing debt ceiling fight. Now I think what they're doing here is playing a banker's game, just between me and you. But McCarty and the Biden, Mark McCarty's leading the Republicans, and you've got who knows who running the Democrats. Where well, they've been arguing about the debt ceiling, the Democrats want to keep raising it and put us in further and further debt. The Republicans are trying to limit it back to 2022. And so the Fitch is part of the, again, the credit rating system, but they know if the big banks go down, they don't have a job. So I think it's a scare tactic in a sense that they're doing this. Not that it's not true and that it will be very negative if the debt ceiling doesn't happen, but I think we're dealing with the same fear propaganda situation that we saw for the last two years over the you-know-what. You understand what I'm saying? Fear factor. It, it's also saying that the futures linked to the Dow Jones Industrial Average slipped after Fitch issued the warning. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy earlier offered hope that his negotiations and the White House team would reach a deal before next week's expected deadline. And guess what they're doing? And I don't know exactly how they're going to weave this web together. They're going to collapse the system. Now, I know they're going to rush into some type of debt ceiling agreement to keep things afloat, but they're pushing in by July 1st the digital uh, dollar, the digital system, central bank digital currency basically is what it's called. It gives them complete control of everything you do and everything you say, everything you tweet, everything you put on Facebook could use to be used against you it won't be in a court of law it will be at the hand of whoever's pushing the bank button that allows you to use your new central bank digital card didn't want to keep it long but that's the two main things that we're watching now of course there's other things happening uh, i don't know how the situation on the borders is will work out we do know that uh, 24 states had agreed a few days ago to come in and help texas looking for more reports on that i don't know i know there's going to be a massive federal fight against it but we'll see if the governors have enough you know what to go against the feds and keep the national guard under their control and that will also have to do with whatever military leader is leading the National Guard in these states how they work out with the feds so that can go either way also I wanted to mention that guys on the East Coast uh, be very careful and if you are dealing with a banking situation and you have money in the bank you better take it out and you better turn it into something that you can barter or trade with because the whole thing of, of this is a book of Revelation you will not be able to buy or sell without the mark of that beast. And this beast is talked about, and it's talking about the image of the beast. Remember that? The image of the beast. And I think it's going to have a lot to do with the digital um, credit system or the digital card and banking system that they're about to throw us into to total control, guys. Now, we've seen it uh, in Africa. I mentioned that in the last video also that... Um, they re are basically going against it. They, d they uh, put up incentives so that the people would go against their cur paper currency, go in with their federal uh, banking digital currency. People revolted. They, do they wouldn't do it. So then they now they made it mandatory, pushed a button to where all currency is, noth is nothing but trash. Throw it in the trash burn it and leaves the people no other option other than go along with the digital currency system or be prepared get your money out because they're going to take it they have to they're in debt too much they'll probably send it overseas what they can scrape up but they're going to take it 
we're getting very close. Get your money out. Make sure you have plenty of food and water. Water filtration. Uh, other uh, metals, if you understand what I'm saying. I'm not a silver and gold guy, uh, but the Bible tells us that will be a stumbling block, uh, block in the uh, end times. Now, I know a lot of people, and just like how you have two or three silver dollars laying around, you kind of keep an eye on it. But, you know, unless it went to thousands of dollars an ounce, that wouldn't be a whole lot. But you would never want to bank on that. You never, ever, ever want to listen to someone tell you to join their gold system to where you send your money, they're going to keep it somewhere in a safe for you. You know that that's going to disappear. If you don't hold it, you don't own it. And the preachers that do that and the other people that do that should be ashamed because judgment begins at the pulpit. And I have friends that are preachers. And I'm speaking to them. It's up to you guys. You might want to think about what you're doing. You may want to back up and turn around and ask for forgiveness. Because if you're at that pulpit, you know the verse that I'm talking about. But guys, we're watching this. Um, be very careful who you're dealing with. And uh, next, let's see, on the 7th of June will be when I go in for the final things at the uh, Neurosurgery uh, Center here in Jackson, Mississippi. They're going to do the final uh, MRIs and CAT scans or whatever they're going to do and set up the pre-op part. Uh, they got to go in three places on my back. They told me yesterday when I was up there, or Monday when I was there, that uh, that's what they had to do. There are three incisions. Normally it's in and out, but because of that, they want me to stay overnight. I'll stay in touch with you guys. Uh, I appreciate all your prayers, and I appreciate your help, too. When you're su you supported us, when I mentioned that uh, with the Husky situation and that, that uh, any donations would be very well used. And uh, as a matter of fact, they are being um, people that are helping us with the adoption and things like that. We're paying that forward and helping them with food for the dogs and things. So... We appreciate it very much, guys. It's a heads up. Uh, God bless every one of you. Be safe.